Back in 2021, me and Anna Kromlik played much where I had three minutes and Anna had five minutes, so it was time odds match. I enjoyed with these games, now I decided to analyze some of them. So this is the first game and Anna started played with d4 and I started play to knight f6, c4 and e6. And now I got three minutes and Anna remained five minutes, that was the point of this match. And I remember Anna was the one who suggested this uh, idea of the match and I was really excited to agree because before this match in 2021, back in 2020, we had so many collaborations, so many regular kind of matches, ended brace, etc. So, so we wanted to try something new and uh, I, find it, I found it really interesting. Knight c3, bishop b4, queen c2, castle e4 and d5 i remember that anna is playing many times this variation even now and back then she was playing this almost all the time against me uh, but it was always interesting to continue because even though she was starting like that i was changing and as well she was changing some variations knight on e4 bishop d3 and c5 knight on f3 and i took it it's uh, regular continuation here she took and i played knight d7 it would be also interesting to play f5 as well and for example after f5 if she would take i would just simply take with knight and then ideal e4 would work but here i decided to play knight d7 and she took which was kind of mistake would be much better to play bishop on f4 in order to protect this pawn but it's still equal position and good play for me after queen on h4 and if g3, just simply play queen on h5. So she took on d5 with pawn, I took, and bishop on f4, and queen on h4. This was inaccuracy for me because I just had to play rook on e8 in order to attack pawn on e5, and there is absolutely nothing from Anna. Like if she would take with bishop, I would just simply take, and if queen on e4, just knight on f6, and I have protective position, this bishop is being opened, uh, the pieces are hanging in the center, so it would be best for me. But I played queen on h4, g3, correct move, queen on h5. The idea is to threaten pawn on e5. Bishop takes e4, which was bad move here because she gave me this light squared bishop, and now I have double bishop plus center is being opened. I took, she took, and rook e8. Well, also knight c5 would be a good move to uh, delve knight with tempo and then open this bishop. Rook e8. Knight f5, big mistake here. Instead of knight on f5, she should have just played castle and given me this pawn. And even though after rook on f1, f6, and queen d5, and I have queen on f7, and it's equal, it's slightly better for me. It still would be much better for Anna than blunder knight on f5. And why is this blunder? Because I take knight on e5. And after she takes, I take on f5, and then this bishop will be hanging on e5 or just simply take on bishop c3 and if he takes with pawn just bishop f5 and f6 is hanging so she's losing piece i took she played queen before i took with queen king d2 bishop f5 and rook on a1 and now checkmate is hanging instead of this move she should have played rook a d1 but it's still lost because this king is in the center and this bishop is super strong and like most like rook on a7 is really strong because after king c1 I just push this pawn and for example queen d4 i just play queen on e2 and checkmate is hanging and if rook d2 queen on f3 and if rook g1 just b5 and i'm winning this knight that's why it's lost anyway for anna but after rook a e1 it's a uh, checkmate rook d8 king c1 queen on e1 rook takes e1 rook takes e1 and after knight d1 checkmate with any rook and in the next game, I started playing with d4, knight on f6, c4, e6, and I got 3 minutes already. Knight f3, d5, knight on f3, bishop e7, and bishop f4. That time, I was not really playing that much Catalan, and I decided to play Queen's Gambit, decline. And it's really interesting to play this variation, actually. Castle, e3, and c6. This is theory. Bishop d3, h6, and castle. Knight on bd7. Actually, this game is easier to play for white because all of these pieces are developed. e4 will be on one time, 
and rook e1, rook c1, everything is just going great for me. Queen c2, but queen c2 was a mistake here. Instead of queen c2, it would be much better to play rook c1, just deal with my first rook, then another rook, and then I deal e4, so queen c2 is pretty early. And here she should have just taken that, and if I take b5 and bishop d3, even though I still have slightly better position after bishop b7, she would manage to develop her light squared bishop with tempo, which actually happened, and she did like that. Took b5, bishop d3, and bishop b7. And I played knight e4. Another mistake. I should have just simply played knight on e5 here, and uh, in order to play knight on e4, I take this pawn. But I played knight on e4, and she played rook c8. She should have just simply taken that and played play knight on f6. Then now I have to go back and then she can play rook c8 and already c5 is hanging. So I'm forced to play queen e2 and after c5 Anna has absolutely great position. But she played rook c8 and I played knight c5. Another mistake. I should have just played knight d6. Bishop takes d6 and I would take. And after rook e8 I would just simply play e4. And then I am simply dominating in this position. My pawn structure is great. My bishop is controlling this diagonal, so it would be perfect. But as you can see, it was blitz, no increment, and we both we are probably were in errors, and that's why we were making these mistakes, which is really common for short time control chess. And she took, and I took, and queen d5. Another mistake. She should have just simply taken that, because if I take here, it's queen d3, and now, even though I still have slightly better position, she would manage to trade these bishops and uh, would have more chances for the draw. After that, and after before, this bishop literally becomes dead due to this pawn structure. Rook on fd8, and now I am simply winning. Uh, it's not that I'm winning materially, it's because I'm winning positionally. After knight on e5, which I should have played, this queen seems like trapped, and only move she would have is rook f8, and then after rook on fd1, it's just absolutely nothing. After queen d8, here is bishop on h7, and that's all. And I'm just winning this queen. So that's why knight e5 would be much better instead of rook on a d1. But it's still a big advantage for me. Queen on h5 and h3. It's not a mistake, but would be much better just simply to play a3, protect this uh, pawn chain instead of playing h3, a5, and knight e5. That's the reason I should have played a3 to protect this pawn on b4 and not let Anna create this counterattack. Rook d5, strong move. Bishop b2 and queen on f5. Now Anna is doing great. I was literally winning this game, but now I ended up quite equal position. Bishop d3, queen on h5, and I played queen b2. And after she took, now it's absolutely equal because this pawn is hanging she would get a file opened this queen is free so it's absolutely nothing for me queen on f5 bishop d3 and i played e4 i went to the risk if she would take on rook c5 there is queen b4 and now i have worse position after rook e8 because she would protect this bishop and i have absolutely nothing but she sacrificed rook she probably wanted to take pawn on e4 i took with rook and knight on e4 and after rook d7 i'm just simply winning here Bishop c5, rook takes b7, I have exactly extra rook. Knight c3, queen d2, knight e2, king on h1, bishop d4, and knight on f3. I'm doing absolutely great here, it's absolutely winning. Knight on f4, and queen takes f4. Bishop f6, queen b4, e5, king e4, c5, rook b5, c4, queen g4. Just trying to simply trade this queen because... As you can see, when you have extra piece, you need to trade as many pieces as possible, but don't trade pawns, because if you trade all pawns, it will end up as a throw. Queen takes g4, h takes g4, c3, rook c1, e4, knight e1, just trying not to let Anna to counterplay, uh, because of this pawn on c3, bishop g5, rook c2, bishop d2, she's doing great, she just wants to protect c3 pawn and create some counterplay. Thankfully, I had rook b1 to protect my knight. e3, I take, she took. Knight on f3, bishop f4, rook b3, and take this pawn. Final threat is removed. Took, took, bishop b5, and I'm just simply winning everything here. And here, 
she lost on time but she was simply losing this game this match contained other games as well but these two games were the highest accuracy i played and in the end i won this match and hope you enjoyed and give like and subscribe